Okay, so this is all about um, daily ops. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. First thing to do when you do um, daily ops is come to your map and then click on RB Social. And you can either join an existing uh, daily op team or create your own team. Uh, you'll get a massive bonus then for other players when they join you. So I'm going to create a new team here. Um, tap on it and then go to daily ops and it's going to be boosted by uh, however many players you have. So you can see in the bottom left there, uh, once they've connected with uh, other players, then um, we'll get a lot more XP. Okay, so you come to the map and then you do um, the button up and then you'll see it says daily ops and click on it and you'll see there's lots of different things to do this one restore uplink functionality to monitor for any enemy activity eliminate all resistance um, this one is recommended level of 50 plus so you can still do it if you're less than 50 but uh, you might get killed a few times um, time until reset two hours so these resets uh, i think it's every 22 hours in these uh, location with toga raider arena so this one is quite an easy one because it's in a small location so there's only a couple of places to come and then any, any faction communist <coughs> pretty straightforward one thing i look at before i join one will be you can see one it says en enemy mutations active camouflage so these are cloaked when they're not, not attacking. So you're not going to see these enemies. So you're going to have to use VATs a lot. Uh, or use something like an energy weapon or something like that. That doesn't need um, doesn't need to be able to see uh, them. Um, I've got an energy weapon here. The, uh, the Tesla. So I'll just get this one. Um, okay. Actually I need to repair it. So let's do a quick repair now. And mine, basically, because it's electric, it'll jump to any player. So that's pretty easy and straightforward. You have, if you haven't got that, you're going to have to use VATs. Um, so if you've got, you're looking for an enemy, and um, like that one there, I would press me top left on bumper. Yeah, that's what I'd have to do. Now, VATs are dependent on how much AP you've got, which is bottom right. So if you've got lots and lots and lots of enemies to kill, you're going to be struggling on this type of uh, daily ops. So don't let that put you off. You don't have to. You don't have um, difficult ones, but this is why you've got a recommended level of 50 plus. But you can still have a go. Okay, next one, mutations, piercing gaze. So greatly enhanced perception. Um, so they're going to be able to see you. Um, okay. Reward tiers, so we've got base tier, um, which is repeatable, so you can keep doing it. Um, initiate tier, that's what rewards you get, 16 minutes. Um, so if you do it less than 16 minutes, you get initiate. Uh, then you've got paladin, 12 minutes, and elder. Elder tier is the best reward you can get. So you do get lots and lots of legendaries for doing this one, so it's sort of a, a great thing to do. So... Um, Let's start it. So I'm going to just click join now. Um, I could wait for other players to come in. Ideally four, and I'll do it a lot quicker. Um, it's pretty doubtful that I will do this in less than eight minutes, um, but I'll have a go. Okay, so I'll get my Tesla weapon sorted out. Um, you're going to be hitting quite a few enemies on this one, so it's quite useful to do a few buffs. Uh, I'm not going to do too many buffs. Um, I'm going to do, let's have a look, do a grenade, um, I'm going to make sure that all my uh, armour is up to standard, so I, I could actually come out of this and do it in the base, because I've got so many to do, so um, I can basically leave that if I want to, so if I come in and think, oh no, I don't want to do this, uh, just find the exit. If you haven't started it, it should be right behind you. Um, so I'm just going to go to workbench now um, and just do a quick repair on uh, my armour. I should have checked that out before I started the video, but it doesn't matter, does it? Right, okay. So if you've never repaired um, armour before, you need an armour workbench. Looks like this. Go over to it. Click Y to modify repair. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go down to my armor. So I'm going to do all of it. Okay, so. And I'm using the workbench repair. So it's the cheapest way of doing it, this. The, you can do the other repairs on the fly uh, with using the repair kits. But you either have to buy them from the atom shop or get them from certain um, events. I don't want to do that. I want to basically do it the easiest way, which would be <coughs> to do it on uh, this workbench. And the same thing is, if I'm already here, I can do a weapon repair as well. So click Y to modify repair. Um, and then you can do quick repair as well. So shame on me really because I used my repair kit earlier and I, I should have checked. So sort of a good thing to do before you're doing things, um, check if you need repairs. So let's go back to it, go, go to the map, click up, daily ops and then join. So where are we at then? And you can see we're in there. Um, let's go back to the XP buffs. I'm just going to do a canned meat stew, which is XP for one hour. Okay. And uh, a cranberry Nuka Cola, because I've got quite a few of them. Um, and I could do some others like uh, Live and Let Love 8, which is a magazine, and some lunch boxes. Um, I'm not going to bother with them because I've got a limited supply. Um, in fact, I'll do one lunch box. If there was other players, I'd do all four. Okay, so if you look at the top right, we've got to repair the signal repeater. Um, you should see, can you see the uh, right at the centre of the screen moving around? That's a little diamond, so we're going to look for that. Okay, um, just going to go back here to weapons, make sure that got that one there. If it breaks, I can do my secondary weapon. Uh, I've got five grenades and my water and my food is up. So I can just check on status effects. So you can see there. I've got an 89%, so I'm class is fully fed. That should keep me going until the end of the event. All right. Um, nobody else is coming. I'm going to do a pit boy light as well. So that's going to light things up. Okay, because we're inside. And then let's set off. And then you've got initiate dodge, telling us what to do. Now, you can probably see, I can't see the other players, uh, sorry, the, the, the enemies, can I? But if I'll use me, um, use me compass at the bottom, you can see there, it comes up red and, and everything. If I'll just turn that volume down so I'm not too loud. That's a leather chair, though, I mean. Okay, so you can see where it's telling me to go there. Go on to it. I've cleared the enemies first before I did this because if I go straight to it, they're going to be killing me and I won't get the full repair. The okay, reload my weapon. Let's go and follow the. Um, we can see what. You can see the difference on using a, a weapon, Tesla weapon, as opposed to if I can't see other play the enemies now. I'm probably seeing using me raid out the bottom. Okay, so I've got two places to go. Up there, it's 19 away. And then there's another one over there as well. So I've got two places. So I can go up the stairs or I could do a jetpack up there as well. Now, can you see the hidden away there? And they only just show up. So I can't see what, where they are until I'm right close. So I'm going to go back to my um, Tesla weapon. And just let them find out. Yeah, the Tesla weapon will will find the enemies um, when you can't see them. Okay, so there's the next one up link. So you got to boost it. Now you got to guard this one. Now it's pretty easy, and straightforward. Just watch them enemies coming out. Um, if you are on your own, I think you tend to get less enemies than if you're with somebody else. Right, so he's trying to attack me. They're going to come from different directions. So, I'm looking. I basically, if you do a full 360, I can see him coming up then. I've got the damage on for each time I kill something. 
So you can see that it's clicking click all the numbers there. Uh, there's a little setting you can do, um, which is in display. Which is cool as well. So if you go to the map and LB and the settings and then display and then come down, where is it? Um, that's it. Show damage numbers in adventure. Is it on? Or I can switch it off. If I switch it off now, come out back out of that. And I get when I basically fire any weapons now, I can not it's not nothing gonna show up. Sometimes I put it on if I'm using a new weapon and new mod, or um It's quite good for beginners this. I had it on a lot when I first started the game to see what was going on. Because you, sometimes you, you, you might be firing at something and, and getting a very, very low um, output from your weapon against them because the, their defense is up quite high. Okay, so top right, boost speed times one. If you've got other players with you as well, that'll go a lot quicker. So I'm on the first part here in 3 minutes 30, 38. I've got 8 minutes in total to do this. Uh, so I'm probably not going to, uh, if you want the highest sort of reward... Because I'm on my own, I'm probably not going to get this. Um, plus, I'm doing a recording anyway. But um, it doesn't matter. I've got enough legendaries. So, all right. So afterwards, I'm going to come here and collect everything. I'm not going to collect it uh, just yet because I might be overweight. And that's the last thing I want. So almost done. Just watching for other enemies. It should tell me now in the top right. So that's completed. So now I've got to go to the next area. Now I can either come down those stairs or I can do this one. I could jet across all the way to there, which I would normally do. But because I'm showing a video here, uh, I know you guys haven't got jetpacks, some of you. Um, so there's a couple of ways you can do. You can come up this way, up the stairs. And then, so I'm looking for this part here. So that's going to be up blink. So then you click on A to boost it. Okay. And that's, now I've got to wait to let the same indicator as the other one as well. So, just got to keep doing it. Okay, so just watch that. I'm looking in my compass at the bottom. And they come from different directions. So I'll back yourself off when you're reloading. So I'm using uh, Secret Service um, armor. My stats are as high as I can without being in the power armor. Just kill that as well. And you can see the item weapons armor. So mine's 459, 339, 262. I can get it higher than that if I want to. I'm not too fussed because this will get me through the game. Um, if I was using, if I was up against some different enemies, sort of um, creatures, super mutants, that sort of thing, I might be using my um, power armor. But in this case, I'm not going to do it. Okay, because um, this one is a bloody build, and if you see in the bottom there, the little red bit then, go up. What happens is, the redder it is, the more XP I get. Okay, that's for that. I didn't check how much ammo I had. But the great thing about this game is, when you kill something in here, you do get a lot back in daily ops. When I was first, uh, when I was a low level, um, I would, and daily ops came out, a lot of us noticed that what goes in, more more comes out than what goes in. So, such as using a Gatling gun, uh, I think five milliliters, things like that. So it's quite good to boost your your ammo. Okay, so we're nearly done there. 
I've just noticed that somebody's come in at level 99, many, many ferrets. Um, okay, so we're almost finished on this one. So if we look on the indicator down at the bottom, you can see 21, 22, get to the bottom there. Okay, we're close to eight minutes, so we're probably not going to do it. Right, okay, so just showing up now. Can't actually see him at all. Can I see him on there? Oh, okay, so I've completely run out now. Okay, I've got another weapon which is quite good. Actually, not this one. Actually, let's, let's stay with this one because this is quite good the plasma weapon against humans. But if it is a human, yes. Okay, that's good. So there's some up there as well. Almost done. Okay. Get him. See that then? He stood right in front of me. New players, don't stand in front of another player. Because you will um, drop the the attack. Sorry, I'm, really sorry. I'm trying to talk. Let's do it again. Okay, so let's get this kind of yeah, if if you're going to go in front of somebody else when when they're firing, is it someone else? then you're going to um, lose a lot of the um, effectiveness. So you want to sort of back off and fire from a different area. Give them. Yeah. Okay, so we did it. Uh, 9 minutes 57, which wasn't um, enough to get us the most rewards. But still did, well, did what? About 80% on my own. Um, so if you are beginning, definitely get more players in. You saw how easy it was when they come. Um, then afterwards, go to all the different areas where you kill everything uh, and pick up all the uh, ammunition and all the other bits and bats. So I think I might have done that previously just then. So let's... So let's jet away. Whoop. There we are. Okay, so it looks like I picked everything up. Um, let's check. There's a few hanging about. So if you look in the top right, you've got four minutes left to view the operation report. So you can have a look around this place if you wanted. Um, you can go to that one as well. Do a porter diner. Uh, and get familiar with it. What is a bit odd, if you look up there, look at these guys. Raiders up there. And you can't actually get get to them. Yeah. So, I don't want to show you. Well, it's a bit freaky, isn't it? Look. In fact, let's get me scope weapon. Right, okay, so we're going to finish now. Uh, press the button with three lines on. And let's see what rewards we've got. So we didn't make the Elder. It does see there, in brackets, team recommended. I didn't do the team, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so... Um, XP, caps, plasma grenades, stim pack, right away. 15 right away, that's quite good. Four plasma cores. Um, two... Legendary, well, got a raider left leg, an unyielded wood right leg, which is only two star. Okay, so 
after you finish this then, three lines to exit. I'm still on the team now, uh, which is classes daily ops. I'm not going to do another daily ops now for this one. But what I can do, um, because he's free, well, there, 5,732. Okay, so I'm going to get this team. I'm going to keep it as a team, but I'm going to change the type of team. So I'll go into the map, press RB, um, go to my team, see my, my uh, name, click um, A, and then change public goal to casual, which is bonus intelligence. So now everybody now that's connected um, will get uh, more bonus for XP. Alright, okay, so I've run out of ammunition. Let's go to this storage box here. Um, and let's get some straight away. I'm going to dump the stuff I'm not using. And that's it in a nutshell, nice and easy. Uh, it is good fun. I've done loads of them and you can keep doing them and keep getting legendaries. Uh, to If you're looking for script to get a particular one, it's definitely worth doing. Um, there we are. All right, thanks for watching.